Thanks so much for coming by Bridge Cable's YouTube channel and uh, our learning page, however you found us. My name is Paul. I'm one of the PMs over here. I've uh, been with Bridge Cable now for a couple years. They can't get rid of me. So sometimes you'll see me doing uh, paperwork or sometimes on a ladder. So they asked me today to just go over a couple considerations because we're getting a lot of people doing Wi-Fi installations. You know, they think that the cable business, uh, you know, is evaporating, but that's not the case at all. With the wireless, you still need the backbone. So here's a couple considerations before you plan out your Wi-Fi. We can definitely help you out with some more strategic planning. Um, things that I'm going to go over is just a, a rollout that we did for the Holiday Inn, a uh, medical center that we did, basically a hospital, um, eyeballs, line of vision, um, RF analysis, that's my big pet peeve, POE, and then security. So real quick, uh, we had a solution where Holiday Inn wanted to um, have wireless throughout their hotel because they didn't want to maintain the jacks. Guests were kind of hitting the RJ45s a lot, and so they were always breaking their patch cable. So wireless was a more of a managed solution. So for example, one thing that they wanted to do was just uh, throw up some WAPs, um, wireless access points, on the floors. One thing is their first floor, this is fourth floor, third, second, and first. So their server room was on the main floor. One thing that you always want to do, MDF or server room, you want to make sure that each each WAP has a, generally a home run. Now sometimes in this situation the Holiday Inn had approximately about eight WAPs on there. Now to have all those cables going down there kind of overkill. So what we did in this solution was sometimes it will work but for this particular thing what we did was on each floor and on different wings what we did was we had a home run from each floor going down to the server room. So you've got the security, you've got the strength of a clear shot, a home run to each floor to the server room. Then what we did was we just piggybacked, bump, 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 not on the WAPs, but from this actual switch, we just fed the WAPs over there. So you had a nice clean connection, you didn't need to have I think there was about 64 WAPs there, so you didn't have, need to have 64 home runs there. What we did was we just had a CAT6 network, and we just home run each floor. There was a couple different wings, and then we just fed the WAPs through there. So that's great. Now, uh, medical place that we just did, uh, second floor, they just needed that redone. There was a problem there. We just did a complete home run uh, down. There was a server closet on the second floor, so we just did a home run. Now, this brings in this line of sight and also an RF. Now, a lot of times people will try to say you need to have an RF, a radio analysis of the building. You know, if you got concrete or if you got drywall, your signal is going to be a little bit uh, degraded, to say the least. Um, you know, in, for example, this is just the diagram of the building. So a lot of times if you just put a WAP right here, you're not going to get it right there. So rule of thumb is line of vision. Uh, a lot of the WAPs will have a certain range. So for this particular situation, line of sight and WAPs are only about $64. I want you to be in the middle right there. So what we did was we saturated it with line of sight. Now, as it turns out, even with the concrete, uh, once we did run our scanners, um, if you were all the way over here, you couldn't get this. But you could basically get the majority. So there is a cost with running an RF analysis. Now, the Holiday Inn, we did do a, a uh, RF analysis because, you know, budget allowed for it. And also, it, there was just a lot of rooms, and there wasn't much room for error in there. So with an RF you can run an analysis on your entire building. Uh, line of sight is always a good rule for us. And that's what we did in this solution. It worked out beautiful. Um, POE, power over Ethernet. A lot of times people will go ahead and plan 
uh, for these different things. This original, this medical facility, we came in on the tail end of it and then we said, whoa, time out. Um, you're going to put the laps in the ceiling, but where's the power? You know, so make sure you're planning for POE and the cost difference on those <sighs> peanuts. So you want to make sure you get POE switches and the WAPs. Um, cost is very uh, next to nothing. Um, security will also offer a um, option for security. So when you do roll out the wireless, you want to make sure it's secure. One of the best things you can do is have a separate portion of your bandwidth for guests, and that's always something. Here's something to consider too when you're handing out your passwords for your WAPs. Everybody's got a smartphone. Some people have tablets. I only use mine for videos. Um, but that's going to eat up your bandwidth. So what I would really highly suggest is uh, security on that and keep in mind people's smartphones because that's really going to chew up your bandwidth. So thanks so much. Please feel free to contact us, 877-832-1206. Uh, Follow the hyperlinks below. Uh, we would love to be able to talk to you. Just some considerations before you plan your Wi-Fi. Thanks.